Asus is one of a small handful of companies launching new gaming laptops all the time, and it's a testament to how strong demand is right now that we have so many new models hitting the market even though there hasn't been any major new underlying hardware to boast of for a whole year now. We've seen screens with a 120Hz refresh rate before, such as with the MSI GE73 VR7 RF Raider, but Asus has gone one step further by supporting variable refresh rates up to 144Hz with NVIDIA's G-Sync feature. This is exactly the kind of thing that you can't quantify in terms of benchmark performance scores, but can make a significant difference to the gaming experience. We're eager to test whether this kind of panel is a luxury or a necessity, and whether Asus can tempt you to spend a lot of money. While gaming laptops do need to be pretty bulky to accommodate heavy-duty cooling systems, the GL503 SCAR edition is surprisingly streamlined. On the other hand, it weighs 2.6 kilograms, and that isn't counting the massive power brick, which means it's definitely in desktop replacement territory. However, this laptop still looks good, and can slip into an ordinary backpack if needed. The SCAR edition gets its name from the diagonal crease on its brushed metal lid, which is a surprisingly subtle touch. It makes this laptop look edgy and unique without a whole bunch of red leads and garish accents, and we really like this more refined design approach. The mirror finish raw logo does light up in red when the laptop is on, and the effect is quite neat. There's also a cleverly designed angular cutout at the back that lets you see the status LEDs even with the lid closed. When you flip the lid up, you'll see the 15.6-inch screen which thankfully doesn't have a reflective coating. It's set within a pretty thick plastic frame, which is one aspect of the design that we didn't really like. The keyboard deck is all dark gray plastic, with a carbon fiber finish and some minor flare in the form of multiple embossed Asus logos and a gun scope design around the trackpad. 